The keys were really magical when I was little. And over the years, it's just such a significant change. They have to understand what the future will hold if we don't take care of things and what, the, what could happen if we did. Florida Keys National Marine Sanctuary protects the only barrier reef in the continental United States, stretching south from Miami to the Dry Tortugas. Within these waters lie nationally significant resources, including seagrass beds, coral reefs, mangrove-fringed islands, and thousands of marine species. We have the Gulf of Mexico to the north, the Atlantic to the south, so our lives, our our economy, our culture, everything about us is tied to the ocean. Fishing in the Keys, diving in the Keys, living in the Keys, you are absolutely connected to the ocean at every moment. Visitors know the Keys for their world-class diving, snorkeling, boating, and fishing. But this fragile habitat is increasingly under pressure from hurricanes, disease, boat groundings, rising ocean temperatures, pollution, and other human interactions. Future generations have a right to be able to see what I've seen, and I'm afraid that the reality is is that there are so many environmental factors pushing uh, in the wrong direction here that it's important that we try to do something to help uh, get the environment going back in the right direction. Since 1990, the sanctuary has worked with local communities and other partners to advance efforts to understand and protect the key's critical resources. Now it's time to do even more to respond to threats and to better protect and even restore natural resources. The sanctuary is proposing a restoration blueprint that embodies what we've learned from nearly 30 years of restoration science, technical experience, and local community involvement. We've got to remain vigilant. We've got to be good stewards uh, because this treasure is for our children and grandchildren and for other people through, uh, throughout the United States and the world for that matter. Meeting the challenges of the future will take dedication, passion, and an appreciation from all of us that what lies beyond the shoreline has a profound effect on our economy and our unique way of life in the Florida Keys. It's the best way to find a solution that works for everyone is to, is to come and respectfully listen and then contribute so that they can be part of the solution.